one of the new menu items on this camera is an image quality setting and uh, by that we mean the difference between say for example a picture style adjustment this is actually a creator photo button I believe is what they call this uh, the picture style uh, selection the multiple exposure and the HDR so each time you scroll through it'll tell you which mode that you're going into HDR is brand new to this camera uh, when I go into set now I'm going to be able to make all my adjustments so the first thing is I want to enable it um, I can either set it up on auto and let the camera decide what the bracket should be or else I can manually set a bracket of either plus minus one two or three stops apart so let's just say three stops for the sake of discussion um, then what effect do I want to do for in-camera compositing um, and these are the various different options that I'm going to have uh, uh, I kind of like uh, to describe this art standard vivid and bold is kind of like low medium and high on the uh, HDR effect the art embossed setting is something similar to what you would get out of Photoshop in the embossed filter so basically you pick which one of these you want and uh, the magic of the camera is to be able to take those three images and create an HDR image based on this particular effect that you've chosen um, you can do continuous HDR uh, for every shot or for a shot at a time and then this is kind of nice when you're doing handheld um, as long as you try to hold fairly still uh, the camera will do its best when it's compositing the images to correct for any shake that you may have had between shots um, the last but not least when you're saving uh, source images you have uh, the ability to actually save the in individual files so that you could work on them yourself later on or if you only want the camera to do uh, the HDR compositing and just call it a day then uh, you can select this option and basically uh, just have the one file in the camera that uh, was created from the shots that you made. Hmm.